Well, dear Maranatha family and all who may be joining us as guests, grace to you and peace from God our Father and from Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We never tire of hearing those words, these words from God to us, find us. They awaken something within us. They reassure us that in the midst of pandemic and upheaval, that God has not forgotten us, that God is ever at work, that God is ever faithful, that God is totally attentive to his people, and thus God is totally attentive to us. We need those words. Last week, we called to mind the fact that all of creation groans and we with it. And we've been doing a lot of groaning lately. It was prompted first by a quickly spreading disease and its many effects. It's been prompted more recently by the reminders that we live in a society that is marked by hostilities and tensions and unrest, much of which arises from a history that includes evils like slavery and forced segregation. So we come out from under a stay-at-home order only to realize that the world around us continues to cry out for peace and for justice, for justice that heals, for justice that leads to reconciliation, for justice that gladdens, and when that is slow in coming, we groan. But last week was also Pentecost Sunday. We remembered that the Holy Spirit of the living God has been poured out in abundance and in life-giving power. On the day of Pentecost, it filled followers of Jesus with joy and energy and boldness to testify to Jesus' love for this world, to testify to Jesus' victory over death, to testify to the fact that Jesus is Lord and that his reign is unending, and to live in the midst of a world that groans as loving makers of peace, for they were followers of the Prince of Peace. By the grace of God, this same Holy Spirit continues to dwell among us and continues to draw our attention to Jesus so that we might remember in the midst of all circumstances that our lives are found in him and are bound to his, come what may. And so that means that whenever we settle on this and we call this to mind, our natural fitting response is praise. So today we're going to begin this service together by remembering that in the midst of a season marked by groaning, we nevertheless belong to Jesus, the one who is worthy of all blessing and honor and glory. <laughs> 